It's officially springtime as of a couple of days ago, and you guys know what that means. Welcome to MLB The Show 18, and welcome to our Road to The Show series. I'm excited about this, guys. This is always one of our biggest series every single year. I love the show. You guys do too, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So here we go. The journey starts now. I'm going to go ahead and start a brand new career here. The first here. call of baseball is heard from playgrounds and backyards. Come play, it says. Learn how to catch, how to throw, how to hit. Next thing we know, we're squeezing the last bit of daylight out of the day for just one more swing or pitch or fly ball. This call rings on through Sandlot games, youth leagues, and into high school. And during this time, a dream is born of one day making it to the big leagues. Every year, a new crop of hopefuls eagerly awaits to hear if their name will be called on draft day. For a select group of blue chippers, expectations will be high. For the rest, there can be no expectations, only hopes. These are the dark horses, garnering little fanfare they'll need to find a way to demonstrate that they belong amongst the best of the best. History shows that a handful can defy the odds and succeed at the game's highest level. What does it take for one of the many to rise out of the pack and make it to the show? It takes finding an identity as a player. It takes learning from one's successes and failures on the field. It takes the desire to raise the bar of our potential. It takes a lot of things. That's why only the most dedicated and driven will get there. And even fewer will see their star rise to the full realization of that whispering call to play from so long ago. All right, that was pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Let's go ahead and use current rosters. Select what region you want to play for in the prospect showcase. So I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with East. We're going to choose our position. All right, this is always an interesting choice here. I think I'm going to go this year. Part of me wants to go outfield. But I also really like playing shortstop, dude. Shortstop is probably my favorite position to play. Get just lots of varying plays. You get to make double plays, you get to make fly balls, you get to do all sorts of things. So I, I think I'm gonna go shortstop here. I think that's gonna be the most exciting. Mimic an MLB player or we're gonna make a custom player? Absolutely, all right, here we go guys, this is it. I'm always like, I don't know, it's always exciting to create your character, do everything. We do it every single year, but I'm always, I'm always equally excited every single year for a new series. And uh, I know we've got some big changes this year. Some improvements to like the RPG aspect of it, of choosing like the archetype of your player and, and development. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right. We're gonna go to the T's here. Wait, hold on a second. T's, where'd they go? RS. Looking for the T's. Trevor, 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 Trevor. There it is. All right, Trevor. Last name, we're gonna go to the M's. Martin, 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 right there. Boom, there it is. Preferred number, I'm gonna go with number seven. Looks good to me, secondary position. Um, I'm not gonna put a secondary position. I wanna play shortstop, like I said. Right hand, right batting, birthplace is Florida. All right, what else do we have here? Physical appearance, okay. Body, skin tone, ooh, we have a lot of options here. Um, obviously we're gonna be sticking around up in this area, maybe a little tan. Ooh. A lot of these are like sickly white. So I think, but, but then this is like sunburned, you know what I mean? We've got to find the nice, nice balance. I think s something like that. All right, looks good to me. Height in inches. I'm gonna raise this one up just a little bit to 76. Wait, I'm a, I'm a skinny dude, so I'm gonna drop this down. I don't wanna be too skinny though. Like, I, I wanna have some muscles. Body type buff, fat, normal, husky. I'm gonna go with buff. Well, uh, normal honestly doesn't look bad. I'm gonna keep buff though. I'd like to be buff. Next size, medium, small. I'm gonna say medium, looks good to me. Shoulders and collarbone, looks good. I don't think we really need to change that too much. Make the arms a little bit longer. I do have long arms, spine length. Just gonna keep that normal, hips and glutes normal. I don't wanna get too crazy and start looking like a weird alien or something like that, you know what I mean? 
head shape. Interesting. I don't really like a lot of these. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm gonna go with this one. Shape two, forehead wrinkles, none, head size. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I've got a pretty big head. I don't wanna get too crazy, but I'm gonna go with like a 15. Head scale. Do we really wanna change it? I just feel like if I mess around with this stuff too much, we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a, a really, Weird looking, weird looking dude. All right, looks good to me. Hair, let's get some interesting hair here. See what it looks like from the front. This is kind of like what I have going on right now. We could have a fade. I don't know why, but this dude looks kind of like Lonzo Ball to me. Does that, does that make sense? I'm gonna go for some brown hair here. Some darker brown hair, looks good. The color sliders are interesting. We haven't had those before. We're gonna have some sideburns. I don't think I'm gonna have sideburns. Facial hair, do we want some facial hair? <laughs> some of these are pretty crazy. Oh, you have way more options. Okay, I get it now. I got you. There are so many options here, dude. We could have a, where was that one? Where was it? Backwoods chic. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Some of these are pretty crazy. I don't know if we're gonna be able to change these later. I kinda wanna go with something funny, but I'm worried we won't be able to change it. I might go with that, the straight beard. All right, looks good to me. Um, do we wanna try different hairstyles? Yeah, we've got way better hairstyles here. Spiky. Hmm. Fohawk. Go with the mullet. Rat tail. Oh, that is just disgusting. We got the jersey short. That doesn't look bad. I might go with, ooh, swoopy top. That's kind of cool, too. What do you guys think? Hmm. VIP is kind of nice, too. I like VIP, I like uh, Jersey Shore, and I like Swoopy Top. Let's have a nice little fade going here. All right, looks looks good to me. Length, stubble, full, medium. Yeah, I'm gonna go with stubble for now. Facial hairstyle too. Oh, you can really influence certain areas. I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. You could have three. Four facial styles. That is ridiculous. All right, moving on. Cheeks, not gonna have any blemishes, no moles, freckles, aged, pockmarks, gritty. I'm just gonna go with normal. Rosy cheeks. I don't think we need rosy cheeks. I'll leave it there. Fat. This is kind of funny. Cheekbones, we can change our cheekbones. I have a pretty skinny face, so I'm gonna leave it about there. All right, eye color, I'm gonna go with bluish green. Do they have like a blue green? Yeah. This is kind of a blue green in there. Eye bags, we're not gonna have any bags or crow's feet. All looks good to me. I don't want to get too crazy with this. Eyebrow color. Honestly, I have some very blonde eyebrows, which I know is kind of weird. They're more, you can't really see them. Um, so we're gonna go more on the blonde side, but still kind of a little bit brown. So we're gonna go there, looks good. Nose. I feel like, I honestly don't know. I feel like the noses are hard, man. I feel like he has a huge nose right now, but I don't want to make it too small. You know what I mean? Like, no, noses just look weird. They do. Does he look abnormal? He looks pretty normal, right? Nose bottom. Doesn't it look like... There we go. 
It just looks like he has a huge nose. All right, nose bump. That's what I want to take off. There we go. That bump was just enormous. Nose size. Noses are a weird thing. You don't really think about it until you're making a character on MLB. All right, that looks pretty good to me. Moving on, ears. Ears look good to me. Maybe a little bit smaller. Jaw size, protrusion. That looks about normal. All right. Cleft chin, chin ball. This, there's so many options here. Do we want some pretty lips? I don't even really see the, the color changing that much. That looks good to me. Neck. All right. We're good. We did all that. I think he looks pretty good. He's got some facial hair, which I could never personally grow. Batting stance creator. I'm trying to think about what I used to do. Probably something kind of like that. Generic stance seven. Oh, I didn't really lean over that much, though. I'm just gonna go with 10. I was a little bit more up like this. This is interesting, man. Right elbow too high. Okay. Animations. Got a couple options here. I kind of like four. Catcher style, we don't really matter about that. Swing style. Honestly, these all look pretty similar to me. I'm good with that. Oh, oh, we can change home run celebrations. I don't really know what I want to do here. Lots of different options. Who has a really good celebration? I'm not even sure. You have to sit here and wait too long to see it. Got some generic options here. Hey, I like that. That's kind of cool. I'll take that. We're going to do a front flip. Can we throw the bat? Yes, sir. I like that. Style six right there. All right. There we go. Looks good to me. Music, I'm not going to change. We're just going to keep that stuff to fall. All right. We're looking pretty good, boys. It's all on the hips. Here we go. Six foot four, 200 pound Trevor Martin starting off at a 38 overall. Welcome to Road to the Show. Your journey begins at the Bowman Scout Day event. This is your opportunity to have MLB Scouts create your individual skills according to your true 2080 scale. To create along with the performance of the showcase games to follow will help the Scouts generate your official scouting report Just for the draft. Just days before the 40 round MLB draft, some lesser known prospects get one last chance to make an impression at Bowman Scout Day. All right, for some of you today may end up being your whole baseball career, so bring your best and leave it all on the field. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be big. Are we doing like skills testing, like drills and stuff, or? What's the plan here? Ran our 40. Not looking like it went very well. His name having finally been called, an anxious prospect steps up for his turn to put his plate skills on display. Son, uh, good hitting requires superb timing and rhythm, so I suggest you take some practice cuts first. Should I be trying for power or just going for contact? Scouts want to see you square up and make solid contact, but they'll take a of your power too. Stay within yourself, use the whole field. If you happen to drive one or two deep, all the better. All right. Ooh. Do we want to go? Most of today's Scout Day participants are not considered blue chip prospects, but they all have blue chip aspirations. Do we want to go for power swings or what? What do you guys think? 
Or do we want to just go for some good solid contact? I'm going to try a couple of couple of power swings here. We we might be able to go for power swings, dude. That'd be nice. We're still getting some some decent contact with it. I want to knock one the distance. A little bit late on that one. I'm gonna take a couple more here. Whoo! That's looking better. Let's try to get out ahead of one. If we can. What the heck? How do we miss that one? That felt good. All right, one more. One, one decent one here. I'm not noticing, I'm not noticing that the power swing is really making that much of a difference. So we might wanna go for the contact swing. Just because we're going to be guaranteed to get more contact, you know what I mean? I want one more good one here. Come on. That felt good. One more. Woo! That's what I want to do right there. All right, here we go. Scouts are now evaluating. Let's not choke. All right, that was good. Pop up. I mean, we made contact, right? Made it to the outfield. It's not bad. Okay. Another one out to the outfield. Dang, dude, as soon as we started evaluating, we're showing a bit more power. Woo! Yes, sir. That's a single. Right over the, uh, the second baseman there. What happened there? I think that was a line drive back at him. Little grounder. I mean, this is all good news. I went for one power swing there. Let's try one more. Ah. I mean, we're hitting all these balls. There we go. Really what I, ooh, there we go. They liked that. Okay, that was, that was good. We didn't have one mess up there. We didn't have any super deep ones or out of the parks or anything like that, but we didn't have one single missed, missed opportunity there. So that was solid. Looks to follow up his efforts at the plate with a demonstration of solid defensive fundamentals. Being evaluated for your footwork, arm strength, and accuracy shows you can make clean plays and deliver the ball where it needs to go. Here we go. All right, we've got practice to start things at off. The major league level, the defensive standard is near perfection. This prospect looks to deliver as clean a performance as he can. Thank goodness that wasn't in the evaluation. We bobbled the ball when we first picked it up. Before the ball is fielded, you should always preload your throw to the base. Yeah, I know that. I know, noob. Alright, let's get one more in here. There it is. All right, let's start the evaluation. Here we go, boys. Fill ground balls to your left. How do you want me to get that? How do you want me to get that? You want me to die for it? Gotta get it there, come on. Yes! Dude, our draft stock went down so far because of those two BS ones right in a row. Come on, got it there. Double place. It's gonna be going a second. I'm honestly a little bit upset about that. Boy, I can't even control that. There we go. Did he even touch the bag right there? I don't even know if he touched the bag. Looked like he jumped over it. This is some ish, man. Get it to second. Yeah, it really doesn't even look like he's... Field double plays from second base. 
This is gonna be going to second base. We're gonna run over. Got him! Yes, sir. Another one. I'm kind of upset. Our hitting went so well, and then we had those two... Those two ones from... They went far left. I don't even know how to dive. I think it's R2 to dive. I'm not sure. I've got a feeling one of these we're going to have to ground the ball, pick it up, and then tap the back. Nope. Beautiful work. I'd say that went pretty well. Overall, that went well. We had a couple of really BS ones that were like right over the bag going to center field, but we tried. I think it's our two to dive. I should have. And heading back to the tried. locker room, this player is met by one of the scouts in attendance. Quite a clinic you put on today, Trevor. Wow. I think they'll save a seat for me right by the draft stage. I'm just gonna say thank you. Who reminds him that he still got one more chance to make an impression on the big league buyers? All right. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and continue on. So. The skills showcase, honestly, I think went pretty well. It wasn't perfect and we could have done better, but I think overall we showed a very, very solid performance there. And uh, now it's time to put that action to work in a game. While preparing for the first of two games at the Topps Amateur Showcase, a prospect is approached by a representative of the MLB Scouting Bureau. Okay, I'd like to get a little bit more information from you, Trevor. I could pass on to any interested big league franchises. Uh, of course, anything you need. What type of infielder do you imagine yourself becoming? The wizard, defensive wizard known for the range, quickness, and glove. Strengths is fielding and speed. Weakness is power. Okay. Good hands, great hand-eye coordination, ensures success with the bat and the glove. Strengths, fielding and contact. Weakness is speed. Mr. Reliable, solid contact and strong arm makes this a reliable option for most positions. Arm and contact, weakness, power. Field general, fielding and arm, weakness, speed. Fielding and power, weakness and speed. Power and arm, weakness is speed. Hmm. So for shortstop suggested position, they want us in fielding and speed minus power, fielding and contact minus speed, or arm and contact minus power. I'm gonna say I want fielding do I want contact or do I want speed? I'm, I, I want to be able to power. I, I, I want to be able to power hit. I want to hit home runs. So I'm going to go with good hands here. So solid defense and good contact reminds me of Steve Garvey or Corey Seager. Both great Dodger players. That works for me. I'll we'll add that information to your profile. Good luck today, Trev. Hope your plans work out. We see you as an MLB shortstop one day. Okay. I like that. We are going to have to work on our speed a little bit. I do like stealing bases and stuff, you guys know that, but um, I think that's a good archetype to start things off. Alright, so I realize this is going to be a little bit weird because I totally changed shirts in the middle of this episode, but everything's fine here. We're going to be okay, guys. I just, I had to, to stop playing that last section, and then I took a shower, and now I'm back. I change clothes after I shower typically, so we're good to go. <laughs> anyway, guys, here we go. This is our first of two showcase games here. And uh, this is going to be a huge part of where we end up in the draft. So I'm kind of excited about this. We'll see what we can do. We've got Herb Brown on the mound for us. Hopefully he puts in work. Here we go. Got one out guy on second. Plays it first. The camera is like way... Angles, way further out than it normally is. Also, it's kind of weird this year. I don't know if this is always, or if it's a setting I have to turn off or something like that, or if it's just because we're in this like tutorial mode. This is kind of like a tutorial mode. It like slows it down and tells me which way to run to catch the ball. I don't like that, obviously. All right, man in scoring position on second. I'm gonna call a four seamer. Oh, we don't have guest pitch on. We're gonna have to turn that on. Whoo, the changeup. I was a bit ahead of that one. That's okay, though. Oh, he popped me up. 
It's gonna drop in time though. Okay, here we go, boys. Gotta pick our pick our pitches a little bit better. That's way out of there. I have no issue. Gonna claw our way back in this at bat here. But it has to be somewhat tempting. That's slow. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Count even at two and two. This should be a good pitch here. The two two. Whoo! In the air out towards left center. Keep going. Ah, dang it. Is right there, one down. Didn't have enough on it, but it is going to be enough and to advance the runner. The Little sack so fly action. All right. Here with one gone. I'll take it. That was a good hit. Gotta give it that. Alright, guy on second. One out. Double play territory. Here we go, boys. But you guys will see what I mean. It tells me which way. Are you kidding me? I can't even control that. That's 100% random computer BS right there. Alright. Two on. We're up by three. One out. flew out in his last at bat. Marcus. First offering on its way. Now full line softly down the right field line. Okay. But foul. A little bit behind that one, but we're gonna be fine. Just like practice. Come on now. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. There we go. Right. Ooh, all right. That's in there. Base hit. We are not gonna be able to make it two. We probably could have made it two actually. Now that I think about it, but that's all right. We aren't the, the fastest player yet. We haven't been working on our speed, so it's better to just stay on base. Scouts love a guy that can get timely hits. Well done there. Okay. A little single with an RBI. I'll take it. The lineup flips over and digging in Eric Kendrick and their runners at the corners now. It's going to take a little one-step lead here. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Strike three. All right. Ready once again, Corey Dolman. For one Two outs, 0-1 oh count. Again, I'm going to take one little step for a lead. 0-1, oh here's the pitch. Fly ball out Got to run on everything. Kuhn will put this one right. away, and the side is retired. Well, so it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left. I mean, things are going just as we would hope, I guess. Four. I wish we could have had that defensive Ready play. Here we go. Two outs. Now. Force out at any base, whatever's easiest. Probably just going to go to first here. We better catch that. I was going to say, if you somehow make me drop this, I'm going to be real upset. Okay? I'll take it. We do have one error on the game, which is unfortunate, but it's all right. Two-seam changeup or a slider? Should be easy pitches to hit. He made it in there. He's safe. All right. We're a little bit late on that two-seamer. That, that was a nasty slider. I'm not going to lie. All right. Okay. I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had about nasty sliders. And that's exactly what that was right there. Oh, come on. A look down and no, That's all right. he went around. It's strike. Here we go. We're one for three in the day. Let's get another RBI here. Four seam curveball, two seam slider. Back after striking out his last time up. That's low. We got to be a little bit more careful about the pitches we're swinging at. That last at bat was case in point of that. We could do better than that. One zero count. Here it is. Perfect time to use Showtime right there. That's going to be a two RBI double. We could have kept going. That could have been a two RBI triple right there. We'll take it. Coming up clutch, boys. When it's all said and done, we should have went for the triple. Nice to show the scouts that you can blast the double and drive in runs at this level. That's all right. Do it with two outs is even better. Shows the scouts that you have the mental Stealing. toughness. To step and we'll have to leave it. Struck him out. This is strike three, and that will retire the side. So it's I would say overall that was pretty good performance. I guess we're gonna get one more at bat here. We're up we're eleven to five. No Trevor, outs. Martin, Men on the corners. This guy's got a whole smorgasbord of pitches he's gonna throw our way. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Not even gonna try to predict any of them. What were we on that? A little bit late. Hit 
hit in the air down Get the down. Right field line. All right. But this will wind up being a foul. We're a little bit behind quite a few of these. We've got to got to get get a little bit more ahead of it here if we can. And he'll be smart though. He's probably not going to give us a good pitch easily. on 0 2. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first. I pressed to use That's Showtime, and it didn't use Go. Showtime. I guess we were out of it. That's unfortunate. I was like ready for it to slow down, and that was the perfect. I, I shouldn't have even tried to use Showtime. That was dumb. Can't even get close to that one. Dang it. We've got two strikeouts now. I was going to say, things were going well. We had the strikeout and we had the error, but overall, we were doing all right. And now, it's not quite as sweet. Double play. He's safe. It's all right. We won the game. We got it done. We had some moments of glory. We had some moments that were not so great. Two for five with three RBIs and a double. It's not bad. Really not bad. I mean, it could have gone better. We probably shouldn't have had that third strikeout. That one honestly wasn't really my fault. Like, I, I went to slow it down. It just didn't let me slow it down. So I wasn't ready to swing yet, of course. But um, we did okay. I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna move on to game two. Looks like we're being scouted well above almost everything. Our contact is up around a 65, power's around 55, speed's at a 60, fielding's at an 80, which is elite. Arms at a 70, which is well above average. Okay, for a newbie, I'm pretty happy with those, those numbers. Let's pump those numbers up though. Let's see what we can do here. We've got this. Ooh, not quite ready for the next pitch. You could call a timeout as a batter by pressing down. I didn't know that. That's cool. All right. Here we go, guys. We've got this. At the plate, Luther Whitehead. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half. He's going to be going to first. Center fielder, Luther Whitehead. Hit toward the hole. I'm just not quick enough to get to that man. I'm sorry. So that leadoff base hit means considerable speed aboard to start. All right. Now with the play, running fastball slider and a Vulcan change. Interesting. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing hit on the ground. I wanted that. We're a little bit too far ahead of it. Dang it! A little bit too far ahead of it again. Alright, we're gonna slow it down just a little bit. He likes that lower outside corner, huh? We're gonna try our best not to get in these 0-2 situations. That's just, it's so hard as a batter to come back from that. He's gonna start playing with the edges. Make a swing at something stupid. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Whitehead on the move. He gets to I mean, makes the catch we tried. The first out. It's a good swing, good contact. We just didn't have enough on it to get it out of there. We've got to work on our strength a little bit. I do want to be a power header this year. I think it'd be fun to be Aaron judging it, smacking some homers. Get back up the middle. Get it there. Get it there. Yes! Let's go, baby. He's doing front flips. Making our second baseman look good out here. Striding in, right. Trevor Martin. One out, one man on. Four seam slurve change up. Gotta wait on that change. Martin. Don't be too far ahead of it. Here comes the first pitch. That's high. On the face. Hey, let's scan up there, huh? We got this, baby. Woo! Get down, 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 down. No, dude. Just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. That's an out, but scouts will like that at bat. Solid contact. Okay. The ball a good ride. That's good to know. Digging in once again. It's not all about your batting Savage average. All right, we're going to be turning two. Let's retire the side here. Move into the seventh game. inning. He's set. Here's the three and two. On the ground to second base. This could be two. To second. One. Get there. 
Oh my gosh, dude. That would have been such a nice play. We almost had it. That's all right. Digging in and looking for more. Mauricio. All right. Going to be turning two here if we can. Last time up. The one, two. Get it there. Come on. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. Good catch, good throw. Easy peasy. We're in there. All right. We're 0 for 2 in the day, top of the 8th, we're down by 1, we need to make some stuff happen here. 4 seam slider, splitter change. I might try a power swing with some... Some showtime. Showtime even said it was a ball. Okay. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. How did that miss? I want to see my timing on that. That was perfect timing. Dude, showtime sometimes screws me up. All right, here we go. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? The second for one. Back to disappointing. First, first game was good. This game, disappointing. I mean, we didn't have strikeouts. We had good contact all around, but th this was disappointing. Disappointing performance to end it off. Showtime screwed me twice in a row there. On the ground is short. Could this be two to second for one? But they won't get two. At least, least got the one. Got the lead, man. All right, we're going to have now one more opportunity like to field Jay here. Jay Actually, we could have another one in the ninth, too. All right, let's try to turn two. Let's make up for our lackluster batting experience with some good defense here. Oh, that's a double play if I've ever seen one. Woo! Easy peasy. One hit, one left. We played eight full. Wow, Looks like our boys are not going to be able to get it done on offense, so we're going to lose this game. Both of these pitchers pitch awfully right. well. It's we're going to return to the clubhouse. Man, 0 for 3. They were all good hits, though. We got to give it that. No strikeouts. That's a good thing. Let's see. Can we see our, our stats again? With nothing left to do but await his fate. This young hopeful receives a check-in from his former high school coach, who's been acting as his advisor through the process. Well done. You've done all you can do, son. I'm proud of you. Just hope it was enough. Could have done more. How do you feel about my chances? Trevor, I believed since the first year I coached you that you got big league potential. Some smart GM is going to see what I see. Thanks for believing in me, bud. Here we go, boys. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to our pick. With the 12th pick, the Toronto Blue Jays select Trevor Martin. We're going to Toronto, boys. Holy cow. Round 27, pick 12. Your boy was at the bottom of the barrel. Been drafted by the Toronto Blue Jays in the MLB draft. Their AAA affiliate is the Buffalo Bisons, AA, the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. I'm pretty sure we played for the Fisher Cats in the past. Looks like we're going to Buffalo, though. And lonely first two days of the MLB draft. This player's wait is finally over. We did it. We could be a dick here. I'm just going to be thankful. Now you know the minor league system. Give it all you've got, unless you're inclined to play college ball for a year instead. Um, I'm ready for pro ball. While being selected is a major milestone, New draftees still face long odds of ever making it to the big leagues. We're going to make it, though. I'm not worried about it one bit. Obviously, we've got some stuff to work on. Our speed needs some work. Our power needs some work. Pretty much everything needs a little bit of work. But uh, we're going to work on it. We're going to make big, big things happen. So hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. Drop a like if you did. I'm going to see you guys probably tomorrow for the next episode. I don't know if I have a second one coming out today, but definitely tomorrow if it's not today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.